Hi folks, welcome back to Thornton Farm. How's your day going? Or oh, how's your day gone? Oh crash, that wouldn't do. How's your day gone? I hope the day is treating you well. Uh, we're right in the middle of uh, all these contracts we took on. Well, we finished off the other two, as you know, the end of last episode. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I've been cutting the grass this morning. That's probably what's just set me off. I only sneeze twice. Two sneezes a day, that's my limit. If I get three, then I know I've got some cold coming on. So we're now going to take on the contract. Well, the contract we're going to take on is this one, but we're not going to borrow their gear. I'll tell you why. They're going to reduce the contract by 5.30. Okay, so we're going to accept the contract. But then we're going to lease this thing. Because I know it's slightly shorter, but it only costs us 234. And we've got a bag of seed there. Don't know how much that was. Oh, 500 litres in it. That's it. I remember that from when we looked about 400 episodes ago. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take the seed up to the shop. And my sister is then going to get on with this. She might have enough of 500 litres, but obviously, any seed left we're going to use to replant anyway. So like I said, we've got to get the vehicles on the road before follow me will work. So we'll do that. We'll make a note of how much money we've got. Because like I say, we then put it back in because it's only us driving, not some third party. The other thing that my sister and brother-in-law have said, now that we're kind of starting to uh, pull a bit of money in, is that we can actually now start taking on other workers. So we will start paying for that local casual labour. But only when it's our equipment. So like today, because we've leased equipment to do a job, then we can hire other workers. But the reality is my sister will be doing this and then we're going to come back. Oh no, it's not going to work, is it? Why is it not working? Has it worked? Don't think it did, did it? No, you can see when it says 25 like that, it's something about and it doesn't like. Or is it working? Oh, they're both moving. Yeah, it is working. Well, it usually kind of the arrow goes all the way up to the top of the tractor, but it didn't do. It's all right, though, as long as it's moving. That's all we need. And the money's going down, so clearly it is working. So, yeah, we'll get this orting job done. Then we're going to, like I say, nip back with the other tractor. Well, we can't feed the... I keep saying we're going to feed the animals, but we can't feed the animals, can we? Because we ain't got no to feed them with. We've only got one tractor. Oh, mind you, I think there's some straw in the straw blower, so we've got to at least get the straw put in. And then we need to check where we're going to do this oot harvest. So don't bother putting the decals on again, because there ain't no point in that. Will they open automatically for me? Nope, well never mind, we're not worried about that. A bit wobbling, it's getting really nervous isn't it? Look, <laughs> he's going to get me. So I don't think there's any other attachments, nope. That's it. Fill me up. Why is it not filling? Oh, it is now. A bit weird. Awesome football game last night. My team won in the first round of what's known in the UK as the Football League Cup. 2-0, so the manager went. And obviously they just have an interim manager who uh, looks after things while they appoint a new full-time manager, but did a good job. 2-0 winners. Right, where is it going? Where is it going with job? It's a liming job there. Actually, we could borrow the gear off that because we have no tractors to help do the cows and we're waiting for another liming job. Right, field 37. Where is Stowe? Usually they're down the bottom, aren't they? 32. Oh, 37. It's, yeah, long here over the railway on the left hand side. Away we go then. We 
we might do the chickens actually no, that's what we'll do we're not worried about the liming we'll sort out the kickings I mean we're gonna have to run down and get back and take a bag of chicken feed back with me she might need some more seed yet let's have a look what does it say about the uh, uh, details on usage 829 we've only got 500 so yeah we'll probably have to refill but it won't take much more anyway this uh, this particular cedar but sometimes it works out okay especially with course player because it covers uh, quite a good deal of the ground steady mind that how far down do we need to go Whoop, oh, wrong one try that I think we come at the bottom of this one don't we right down the bottom oh yes just there on the left oh it only just goes down this road only just looks like the text has changed on that side of the road maybe it hasn't doesn't look as tufty as it did right change that to oats thank you that's it right so away you go take details off for now right away you go zoom in it's almost lit create me a job yeah we want field work we do uh, field position there right there put a course in that's done close that and away goes my sister Just check it says it's the right crop type and all that jazz. It is, and she's off. So, like I said, we've got her underway. We're not back to the farm. I'll look at these chickens now. But, like I said last episode, it's going to mean we're going to have to sell off the chickens. Bizarrely. But we will make a bit of money off what we're selling of the actual chicken range that's there already. And then when we put the new one in, obviously that will cost us a bit of money. But all in all, I think we might just be. Oh, I never put my uh, money right, did I? 52073. I keep forgetting to do that. I must stick a note on my forehead, I think, or something. I know it's not a lot, but if you think it's like £30 an episode when they're doing driving, then it soon starts to add up. Of course, play doesn't cost us anything. That's set to zero. And if we did change to casual labour, I'd just put the... Uh, Money we pay for uh, course player back in. So we open that gate. I'm going to close that gate again now so that that's clear. Right, so what we need to do now is... Because at the moment we can only have 30 chickens. And to sell them off. We need to sell that off. And then we need to sell them off. That's your bit now, there shouldn't be any chickens. That's it. So, oh, I never put that money back in, did I? Anyway, never mind, don't worry about that. <laughs> oh dear. Tell you, mine like a sieve. So, construction. So, what we can do now is. Is I'll get 2,000, nearly 3,000 back for that. Let's sell that. Okay, but these sheds here I can't remove. These were the kind of red tiled roof I can't move those but then if we go into aminoles I'm going to chickens but then if we get the free range pasture thing and we put that well down there, that's, that's going to cost us 2000 so we're actually going to be in pocket but where's the best place I'm trying to get it as close to them sheds as I can because it will go through the sheds that's the thing but that doesn't matter too much coming out of the gate now anyway we wanted to about there does that look okay two thousand and two pounds here we go here goes nothing it's in oh that tree's in the wrong place now my tree we will put another tree in somewhere just tidy it make it look a bit more shaded uh, right so oh they're automatically watered that's okay we don't need water for them so we can go here click this 
Uh, what is it we do to get rid of that? Self rearranged chickens hide grid. That's the one. There you go. How pressed on. Oh, done. So now we want some chickens. So we could have, what was it? We can now up to 150 chickens. So let's have, no, not 12 roosters. Two roosters, please. Okay. And then we'll have. Why won't it go any number? No, not 60. But we will go. Oh, you've got to click each one. I'm going to put 20 of them in. Then we'll see how fast they breed. So that's 22 we've got now. Buy those. Okay, so that's it. 22 of 150. And we'll see how they produce. See if they produce any different. It's a whole nice shutting yard. So, what I should have done while I was at the shop. was I should have grabbed a bag of chicken feed. So I'll just do a quick jump cut while I run up to the shop. We'll get them some feed and we'll get them underway. Blink and you miss it. Let's grab some chicken feed. Uh, oh yeah, I was in the right place. Right, chicken feed, chicken feed. Big bags, chicken feed. It's expensive for what it is. Mineral feed's cheap, cheaper. I'm only going to buy one for now. So my hope is we might get some harvest where we can nick a bit of barley or wheat. Uh, my sister was... Uh, about 25% through and she's still she's got 59% so yeah she's gonna need more seed so we'll get these chickens settled in then we're gonna have to do another dash up here grab a bag of seed and run that down to the field So we're moving on nicely with the farm. 51,000 in the account, so making the 200,000, I think, is going to be a lot easier than I imagined when I set off. But that means say, we're not going to buy another tractor or something like that madly in the middle of it all. Once the canola's in, that'll give us a real good idea of how things are developing. Oh yeah, we'll go this way. I could go either way around, but we're going this way. We're going to put some mesh on the bottom of that gate. Not really. <laughs> Otherwise the chickens could get out, get through the gaps in the fence, but it's only a simulation. You better take coin. Oh, you do, look at that. Yeah, you'd probably take it all, won't you, you greedy blighters. Yeah, I thought so. How's that in terms of what you need? Chickens. Oh, well. We'll probably need to buy another bag before we start getting bits of harvesting from places. Yeah, I should have come in the other gate now. Oops. But no, it's a bit more realistic now because then they go in the sheds at night and we shut them in. How realistic is that? That'll do nicely. I, it's always been, it's just, a, I know it's a personal thing about maps, but it's always just been a slight bugbearer map. When you get buildings that you can't actually use, you can't get in. Right, shop. Go and get some seed. Uh, when we get, I'm, I might not do much more this month. I'll see where we are financially. We might take a bit of a hit this month. But I'm not going to put the money back in for me sister's driving because we made a bit of a we made a bit of a profit on selling off uh, the old job. So we're only nineteen thousand down. I'll see what contracts come up in the second half. So I'll do a bit off screen, see where the contracts come up, but then. Uh, First half of April, we need to be getting on with some grass work. Like I said, the seed we're buying now isn't lost to us because once we've uh, once we've actually got this uh, this harvest done on our field, we're going to have to put some new seed in anyway. So buy one of them. They want any in the shop. If there'd been some in the shop sales, we'd have bought it in the shop sales. I'm 
we'll find out where she is on the field. I'm going to stick some of this in. Because again, once we've done the harvest, you've all that other stuff that we've either got to purchase or we've got to rent things like uh, cedars and rollers and all that kind of jazz. Mind you, if we, if we hire the Lemkin again, that's a massive one, so that very quickly. Uh, very quickly get it done right just bear with because what we're going to do is while she's at the end of the field i'm hoping this is still going to work usually if you put it on the next course then they still do follow the uh, the actual course play I'm thinking that should be enough to do the whole field now. I'm hoping it is. I'm going to leave it with her, see how she gets on. If we put it about there, if all has gone according to plan, uh, it should now. It should. He's thinking out loud. Right, so create job. Nearest waypoint, start job. Yep, spot on. There we go, and pick up from where we left off. I'll take this back. If I own some of these fields in the future, some of these little trees at the ends will go. I feel where I was doing one of the cultivating jobs, it uh, literally there's a tree at the end and it's that far sunk into the ground. I tried lifting it or raising it with giant editor, but I've changed the map that many times now. I'd have to do a brand new save game to for its stick effect so literally it, uh, you have to just drive through it there's no collision on that height of it so I can't trim the branches or anything like that humptily dumptily so all we need to do now is reiterate throw some straw in we can do straw I think it's quite still a bit we might still be a bit of feed in the feed mix as well, so we could still do something with the cows. Like I said, I'd like once that job's done to move on to another day. See what another day brings. And it's absolutely wall to wall sunshine again. It's absolutely rained all day yesterday. Really kind of last night was just absolutely awful drizzle. As we say in the UK, it was walking to the ground. We got my hair was absolutely it's drenched when I got there. Coat kept me really dry. It's never really been out in me uh, waterproof coat like that before, but yeah, it was really dry when I got to the ground. By the time I came on the rain, it stopped and my coat had dried out. So it was all it was all good. This can slot under here. And that'll do there. And then we can just. Drop that about there. That should then disconnect. That's it. Because I need to put the weight on the front to get the straw done. I'll keep an eye on the top right of the screen just to try and catch when my sister's up to doing some of her stuff. They've not laid any eggs yet, have they? No, they're not that quick. <laughs> but hopefully with a lot more chickens. Right, let's just see. Is there anything in my mixer? I know in real life there probably wouldn't be, but... Oh yes, right, well let's do that then, do that first. Drop you off. That's it. Stick your hole in the front. Oh, 
Oops, no. Touch it further forward, thank you. Oh yeah, it's not much cops sitting in cab with this, is it? You can't always tell where you're going. Let's try about the... Oh, get off. See, it's miles off. I just... No matter what I do, how I sit in the cab, or even if I lean over the back of the seat, I never manage to just find where it is. Get on. No, I've missed how much my sister's done. Still 80% of the seed though. I will check in on my mentor. I know I don't like doing that because I used to, it's a bad habit I was in. I used to every game, I was, every two seconds trying to see how much they'd done. Don't know how much the cows have got, but we're about to find out. Oh, 50% she's done and she's still got 76% seed. So yeah, that will complete, thankfully. Am I floating? Yes, you are, right. So, look, cows. Might still have some left after this. No, we don't want the. Oh, yeah. Put it this way, it'll be nearly full if it's not. It isn't actually full. <clears throat> Almost another three, four. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. That's that mini, mini skill bit short. Are we going to empty the tank? Oh, 31 litres. <laughs> Woohoo. There we go. Got what we needed. And so we can put some straw in now. And we need to drop that in off screen sometime. Probably at the beginning of tomorrow. And then the thing's empty, ready for refilling at some stage. Steady as you go. That's it. We don't have any accidents. Around she comes. Is that it? I should do us there. Lift the spout up. No spout's as high as it'll go, is it? Yeah, that's it. Spout's as high as it'll go. Well, let's just put a screenshot in there. Eh? Somewhere about there's a bit better. We've got screenshots done. Will this fill it? Oh, mine's just too... It should do, because there's two bales in here. The one that's feeding in nice underneath, look. See, you just move it slightly. Don't like it. It really is just a sweet spot. See, I've moved again. Oh, no, don't do that. Nope, don't like it at all if you move slightly. Oh, are they full? Oh, they are. Oh, well, there you go then. That'll do. Not complain at that. There you go, me darlings. But, folks, looking at the clock, I think we've kept you long enough. So, like I say, I'll get to the end of today, get this seeding contract finished on my sister, Will. And then we'll kind of see where that leaves us on tomorrow. And then, if not, we'll come in and start getting some, uh, some grass work done. So, thanks for dropping in. Do all the YouTube stuff. And we will catch you later.